that uh, I have 632. Um, this video is being broadcast live and digitally recorded, and we'll start with open sessions. Anybody here for open session? Hi, Sandra. Want to come up? Hi, Good. How are you doing? Um, I'm just here to and who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I forgot. I'm Sandra Barry, one Nestle Woods Lane Hubbardson. I'm here to represent Parks. Mm -hmm. And just to communicate with you some things that Parks have going on. And we just want to <coughs> let you know what we're doing, you know, get your feedback. Um, yay, that's a good idea. No, that's not a good idea or what have you. So, um, first of all, last year, Parks put in for a CPA grant for a portable ice rink. We were granted the money. We're looking at purchasing one now. Um, we um, want to put it up at the Town Common and just wanted people's feedback on that. We thought, you know what, they decorate it really nicely. The lights stay up through the winter. Um, I talked to Travis. The town plows and maintains that parking area in front of the church. And, um, and it's pretty level up there. Dave and I went up there and we walked it. We mm -hmm. measured it. And we just thought, you know, that might be a really good place to put it instead of putting it at the rec field where it's going to be quite removed from the center of town. Um, and DPW often uses um, the parking lot down there for snow dumping, you know. So <coughs> we just want to know if you have any thoughts or concerns about so doing it there. So, so um, you know, we all know the area. But just yep. uh, so let's, let's be on Main Street looking at the church. Okay? Looking at the church. So we've got the pathway. So yep. orient, can you orient us based on where sure. that pathway goes? So the pathway cuts through and the flagpole's right there on the, um, looking at the church on the right-hand side yep. of that. We want to put it to the left of the flagpole, in between the flagpole and over towards, um, you know, the, the road. Um, so it doesn't go over the walkway? Oh, no, it won't go over the walkway. No, no. It's How big is it? 20 by 40. 20 by 40. That's, just, that's like the smallest one yep. other than backyard that they offer. We thought we'd start with that. And if it takes off and it's a big hit, we can buy an expansion pack make it bigger to even fit maybe a, a larger area up there, but we thought we'd try it up there first to see how it would go. Um, just thinking it might be really festive with the no, lights on. that's cool, yeah. We're kind of thinking maybe, you know, I'm gonna obviously communicate with the church um, ladies and um, tell them this is our plan, get their feedback. Um, but maybe try to rent out the bottom of the church on Sunday afternoon, have hot chocolate, a place for the kids to warm up. Yep. You know, not every week, but maybe on occasion just to try to do more things, and um, I, and I'm just gonna say the biggest thing is kids don't skate on the ponds anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's a lot of concern of the the nice and what have you, and it's just mm -hmm. a better recreational thing to do. You live in New England; you got to be an outdoor sports person. So when you measured, so. um, just because mm -hmm. I, I, I mm -hmm. did, when you measured, you measured horizontally, right? You didn't. Did you do any? Ele you didn't do any. We haven't done elevation, though. Bob. Uh, I'm it's sorry. This evening, sometimes. Dave yeah. went up there today. Yes, I know. Um, so he went up there today to get more. Uh, precise measurements but he hasn't gotten back to me but this particular rink that we're looking to purchase um, works on, on a band system and it can accommodate up to a foot difference and uh, so we're That's hoping uh, yeah well yeah it, but they say it, it will so we thought that how might level work. does the ground have to be for that rink to be put down he said a foot a, a foot, foot. <coughs> a yeah. foot they have to mm -hmm. dig it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he went he was going to go up there today i think he was going to use like two by fours and see what he could do and and work with that because the um, water, water won't freeze like that correct right. <laughs> well, then, yeah well, well obviously if it's a two or three foot difference then it's not but if you walk up there i mean yes it is it does slope but we're hoping that right. this. well you guys are checking it out yeah so whatever yeah so because that is right and supposedly this rink self levels because it's on a strap system not you know so that's why we chose this particular rink and not like the standard boards and you know <laughs> knocking in the ground with nothing other than the level ground underneath it so what about um, <coughs> handicap access? Do we need that? Um, yeah, I didn't really think, well, we haven't really thought about that too much, but we could always put a ramp there, you know, like a plywood ramp if we had to. And it will be close to the um, pathway, so I think it will be workable. So is um, that church property or town property? Town that property. Pie? So that was the other thing. It's my understanding from many, many meetings years ago that the church owns 30 feet around their property and then the rest starts to count common. It's either 30 or 50 feet, but I think it's 30 feet. I don't anyway, remember. Because no. I think we want to make sure it's on town property, right? Yeah, but I'm going to communicate with the church yeah. ladies too and just you know make sure they're they're comfortable with this and um, what have you. But I, I can historically look into that. That was many years ago, but um, but I thought it was a 30-foot perimeter around the, the church. 
when, when the church was given to them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't think it sounds like a great idea. I think it would be probably a good idea to put, like, slippery ice once, like a sign. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, from a liability <coughs> standpoint, just to have it so people are sure. walking around and sort of know that. You know, nothing fancy, but just, mm -hmm. you know. It'll be lighted. Well, so the other thing is, so I worked with Katie putting all those lights up. This weekend we put all the lights up on the town common. Same as last year, or did she put more? Did you guys put more? No, we put the same amount yeah. up. And unfortunately, all the lights on the Christmas tree didn't work, so I was on a 20-foot ladder cutting those all down. And oh, yeah, that was... <laughs> so, so, anyways, it's all going to be good, though. It's all going to be good good stuff. Yep. Um, so um, we have three... She has three-way prongs up there, so I thought we might be able to put spotlights that would shine down on the ice only yep. so it wouldn't bother neighbors, and it would be on the timer like the lights are on the timer. It would go on and off. And so. where And where can you park if you go up there? Well, you you can park in the church <coughs> parking lot, the parking lot up there beside the church. They're cool with that. Well, it was town property. That's why I talked to Travis and asked them who maintained it. Okay. So, but I am going to talk to the church about it too. And obviously, we're not going to have open skating when people are having church service unless they park on the road. Mm -hmm. um, so, could you include a couple of benches, or are you going to include a couple of benches? Um, we thought about doing that too. Um, obviously, the ones from the um, the bleachers down at the um, rec field there, you know, you can move them, but I just don't know if we'd be able to move them up there unless I I'm could just get people to do it. people wanting to put the skates on and off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we were, we were thinking we might. sit to do that. Yeah, so yeah. we were thinking we would probably try to come up with some sort of seating for, mm -hmm. for up there. Um, might not be a lot of seating, but it would be seating. But that's also why we're trying to maybe work with the church about, mm -hmm. you know, renting their basement, you know, like on Sunday afternoons or something so kids could come in and warm up and you know, things like that. Cool. Just, Trying to do something. Yeah. Um, I've talked to Bob at the fire department to see if he might be able to drill it. Mm -hmm. So I'm working with him because he needs numbers and depths, and I didn't have all that information today, so I'm getting back with him on that. The other thing we thought about is there going to be a problem with draining it in the springtime, and I think we're just going to wait till spring and see how that goes. We don't know if, how much mm -hmm. evaporates and you know how how to actually do it. But um, but if you look around at the, all the little you know like Holden Gardner. West Boylston, they all have them right out on the, you know, lawns, like in front of the whole, the senior center in Holden, in front of the library in West Boylston, and we just thought it might be a well, good thing to try to do. Well, there big trees that are going to just molt their leaves onto the yeah. surface, because I had one in our yard. Oh, did you? For one well, right year, and that was it after that I remember fall that came, year, actually. Yeah, after fall came in, forget it. Yeah. Because just a mess, it's up on the ice, can't get rid of it. And oh. So well, the other thing about this particular um, ice rink is that because you don't um, put stakes into the ground, they, they suggest you actually put it on frozen ground. So hopefully all the leaves will be yeah. gone by then. You know, so. But I was up there the other day, and the lawn was pretty clear yeah. up there. A few branches we moved mm -hmm. from that. Pretty clear. Well, when it first came out um, that you guys were thinking about the ice rink, mm -hmm. you were talking about it between the um, skate park and the... Uh, playground, right? We have talked about it. Yep. I'm yep. Just, just like this spot better sort of thing. Was there any other reason besides? I like the idea. I'm just wondering if there was any other thought process there. Um, the other thought process is to start it somewhere, yep. and then if it doesn't fly, move it to the other spot. But our thinking was that it might be more. It'd probably be more visible, um, especially you know just the way the common's so dec nicely decorated, and um, in kind of the rec field's kind of off by itself. There's no lighting down there, and sure. so. 